My name's Joseph Hodges. I've been driving for 14 years now. And one of my favorite things about driving is just being out by myself. I always wanted to be a truck driver. Uh, my grandfather, he was an independent owner operator for like 30 years. So my mom grew up, you know, with her dad trucking and I rode with him a lot when I was a kid. My dad drove and uh, I had uncles that were truckers. So being a trucker, that's, I don't know, it's just something I always wanted to do like i said it's been almost like death to me i guess you would say that i was gonna grow up and do this when i got out since i had got uh injured and had to get a, a medical discharge i had a program available to me called uh, vocational rehabilitation and through that and talking with the counselor, they said, well, you seem really interested in trucking, so let's look into that. And there's a program through the VA where you use your GI Bill and there's certain companies out there that are involved in this uh, apprenticeship program, okay? So my truck driving school, and all that was paid for with my GI bill. And they said, okay, here's a couple of different companies. So I went with Werner. So the way it worked was I got my check from Werner every week, but then once a month, I got a, a housing allowance through the VA. And that covered my household bills for the month. So it made that first year of driving a lot easier you know, to get through. And I, I encourage people to use that program because it's definitely a big help to have. I drove for Werner for a couple of years and there was another carrier that offered me a job basically doing the same thing for more money. That was Rich Logistics. Then I went with uh, one of their fleet owners called Pinnacle Express. I was there for almost five years in total, but probably about halfway through the time I was at Pinnacle, I heard uh, the CEO of Cloud Trucks on the news, and he was talking about Cloud. That sounds like something I want to be a part of. I spent two years saving up money, working hard, and uh, doing a lot of research on freight lanes and stuff like that. And uh, got this truck in February and just been out here working hard ever since. The main thing I think is you just got to set your mind that you're going to do, it, you know, and it's kind of difficult sometimes too being a company driver because you don't have that control of, you know, how much you work, how little you work and that. I think it just takes a strong work ethic like if you need somebody to constantly push you and you're fine with just a bare minimum then you're probably not going to make it but i think a lot of people have a false notion that being a company driver is a full-time job than being an owner operator is a part-time job but in reality it's you know working time and a half because you're going to have down weeks and you can't look at just a week you gotta look at a more long-term average you know look at your month and uh see where you're at on that and look at your quarter stuff like that if things are just gonna happen out here that's outside of your control and but you, you got to have your mind made up that you're gonna be successful if you take failure away as an option then you're already a step ahead. Me and uh, my business consultant were talking about this a couple of weeks ago, and he said, you know, it's like you got a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, but it's a good thing, you know, because you use it to push you forward. I think a lot of people see that higher paying load going to a dead area, and they don't 
think I'm going into a dead area. They just see a low paying 265. Sometimes you get lucky. You just got to keep an eye on the board. And when you look on the CT load app, you'll see a lot of times it'll have a pay out there for the load. But sometimes it won't have any of that information and you got to call or email that broker. And sometimes that's the best loads. People don't want to call. And I've talked to people about that, you know, finding loads and they say, I just don't want to call a broker. I'm like, you got to get over that book, you know, because, and I hate it too. I hate the sound of my voice and I can only, I just, I don't like it, you know, but I do what I got to do. And another thing, getting through hard time and stuff, sometimes you got to take a short load to get to a better area. But at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff I see out there, y'all just need to turn it down. It, this real heavy stuff, and they don't want to pay. You got to know what it's going to cost you per mile to haul it. And if you're going to be loose money, you need to let it sit. You know, everybody needs to know what their cost per mile is. I, I know what it costs me to run my truck, pay my bills, and I know exactly what I need on the top before – CT takes the 18% and all that. I know all that number I got to have. And uh, if it goes below that, I just politely tell them no thanks. You know, because you can't just keep running for less than your cost per mile. And if you don't know your cost per mile, you need to figure it out. Because the main thing that I like about cloud is I get to run my business how I want to and be left alone. But that's a positive thing. You know what I mean? I, that's what I wanted. And in a lot of ways, it's like having your own authority without a lot of the hassle. 